Hello and welcome back to another video. My name is Brandon Watts. Today we're going to be talking about how to do a quick and easy window pull without having to shine a light directly at a window in order to do it. This is going to take one of the flash pops that we're going to have to take either way in order to run my custom action. So let's go and jump into that. But before we do, my custom actions are coming out next Saturday, guaranteed. So like and subscribe, stay tuned for that to come out. And let's go ahead and jump into this video. Okay, so we're here in Photoshop. We already have our layers loaded. You can see we have our dark exposure, middle exposure, brightest. These are taken two stops apart, three exposure bracket. That's going to get merged super quickly into an HDR file. This is followed by my over the camera pointed backwards flash pop to fill in this room here. That's going to be the darken color repair layer. This is my bounce right layer where I bounce off the right hand side of the room to fill in the left. Then we have the opposite where I bounce the left side of the room to fill in the right. This last layer here is going to be this hallway shot right inside here so let's go ahead and make those all visible i'm going to run my custom action main action a7s3 without auto align this is in real time you can see how fast that is blended now what we'll do is a w on the keyboard to open up the object selection tool we're just going to go ahead and select these windows super quick and then we're just going to hit it with a mask boom look at that look how nice that looks just playing, just playing. Let's bring this up over the ambient blend. Now you can see how fast that window pull was done. So quick, so easy, anybody can do it. Then from here, we can go ahead and finish this image. Let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and go on this ambient blend. We'll do a control or command, alter options, shift plus E to stamp all visible. We'll do a control or command plus shift plus A to open up our camera roll. This room is a little dim, so let's just brighten that up a little bit. Now that's nice. Actually, you know what? Let's hit it with auto. Then we can brighten this up a little bit. That looks nicer. That looks nice. Yep. Hit it with a little bit of contrast. Bring down the vibrance, saturation, and shadows. Okay. That's nice. Then we can hit it with my curves contrast action. And from here, you know, these windows are looking... They're not blown out. There is some detail in there. You can see a little bit of some clouds, um, but it's not to taste. So let's just do a quick sky swap of these windows by select window skies. Boom, that's gonna create a folder with a black mask. Make sure that we are on a white foreground color. B for brush. And let's just go ahead and brush in a nice looking sky. This is a completely different sky from my sky library, but that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. Now we can do another stamp all visible. Hit J in the keyboard for your remove tool. Just remove this water bottle that this construction worker left. And that looks, uh, that looks great. That was super, super quick. Super quick. Let's go ahead and go on to this other one here. So we'll use the dark and color repair work in all instances to bring back a window pool. Absolutely not. And let me show you why. So for this house here, you can see that if I do a flash pop here with my dark and color repair, if I do this right side bounce, there's some reflections over here and this left side, there's a massive reflection over here. And that's just because some of these nice houses, they have some window tinting that is ultra reflective. So that way it, minimizes the amount of heat and light that filters into the house which helps reduce their energy bill when trying to cool it down here in the extreme heats of texas so what i ended up having to do was the traditional route of using a pen and lasso tool to isolate these layers here and really bring in that window pop so you can see without that traditional window pull i did with the pen and lasso tool you can see that massive reflection and then with this window layer here set to a normal blend mode, I just had to do it the manual way. And that's okay. Not every house is exactly the same. Sometimes you have to put in a little bit of extra work to get those windows how you want it. But compared to this one over here, this one was super fast and easy. You can tell that this one is a little washed out on this window compared to this one here. This one, I took a specific window layer because I knew I was going to have to mask that in compared to this one where I didn't take a specific window layer I could have dropped the ISO uh, to give it this little bit more punch and darkness to uh, 
this window layer here but since I didn't take a, an actual dedicated window layer this is going to be the result of that so let me know in the comments what you think i appreciate everybody coming by you all take care and i'll see you in the next video